I'm not troubled in troubles. I trouble my troubles. <laughs> troubles come that we might trouble the trouble and change the trouble into a triumph. My perception of my storm is my victory. Victory. My perception of my storm is my defeat. My perception of my storm is my victory. My perception of my storm. Oh, come on. The perception of my storm can either be my defeat or my victory. perception of my storm could either be my success or my failure now when you perceive it as a failure you start making stupid decisions but when you know that all things work together for good unto them that love the Lord and unto them who are the God according to his purpose suddenly you realize that for every pressure for every storm for every flood for every fire for every rain for every every river that comes your way is for good oh a couple of years ago rejection used to affect me I said, Lord, what have I done? I'm doing good in this place and I'm being rejected and abused. And I said, Lord, remove this. God said, no, I will increase it. Because if you can still feel rejection, it means that you don't know who you are. So I'm going to allow rejection to teach you and to bring you into who you are. Uh, so the more I felt rejected the more the rejection increased the more I felt rejected the rejection increased I came to a point where I said you know what I'm done with this madness I'm done in fact I anticipate rejection ahead of time <laughs> Pastor John, I failed my examination oh uh -uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. those who passed allow them to go you know why you failed because God wants you to go back to it and understand it he, he doesn't want you to just read it write the exams and pass it he wants you to master the knowledge yourself it's, it's a, a bit of a little bit of a shift in your perception is what makes you an eagle failure to an eagle is another opportunity to come into mastering somebody hear me tonight or this morning so we don't fail we are ever victorious we are ever we are ever victorious regardless of any pressure that Satan has projected against us we are rising above it I'm not troubled in troubles I trouble my troubles Did you hear me now? Did you hear me? Troubles don't come to trouble us. Troubles don't come to trouble us. Uh, you don't hear me now. Troubles come that we might trouble the trouble and change the trouble into a triumph. Every text can come can become a testimony. Every tribulation can turn into a triumph. I tell you something. God says, I will not remove that stuff. I will give you capacity to rise above the storm and see higher than the storms. But 
don't you know that the Lord says the storms that I have allowed in your ways are the gate into greater heights I became more passionate when people troubled me more I became patient when people walked against me. Oh, I said, Lord, I don't want anybody to walk against me. Because, uh, my friend, if you can feel it when they walked against you, I'm going to cause it to happen more and more. So that if you come to a point where what people do don't affect you anymore. So God, God knows how to train you. Ah. Oh. By the time you're dead to what people do, God will say, nah, you have taken advantage of the storm that was meant for your destruction. Now nah, you've entered the state of alarmness, the state of deadness toward that circumstance that Satan has projected against you. Can you see the storms? A blessing in disguise. So that challenge in your office is promotion waiting to happen. The way of promotion is the way of troubles. Okay, okay. It took the hate of the brothers of Joseph to sell him to a place God had predestined Joseph. But God's final destination for Joseph was not in the Potiphar's house. It would take another trouble to take him to the ways of the prison, which is nearer to the palace. It would take another trouble on the king Pharaoh to bring Joseph out of the prison to interpret the dream, the trouble, the trouble, the trouble of the king. Have you seen that it took series of troubles to advance the cause of Joseph? Why do you cry in the middle of troubles? You know why? Because you don't perceive as an ego. Troubles are gateways for our promotion why do you struggle in troubles you are you ought to thrive in troubles knowing well that god can change that situation in a moment but sometimes god knows that character is built patience is built your prayer life is built why in the process of going toward that miracle the miracle has been approved the miracle has been timed but there has to be a process through the process you become more like God through the process you interact more with God through the process you trust more in God through the process you mortify through the process you are saved through the process you are changed and transformed till you meet the end of the process to walk into that miracle Don't quit the process. Don't abort the process. Don't. I know you. Listen, God can give you that miracle in the twinkle of an eye. God can restore it in the twinkle of an eye. God can give you that job in the twinkle of an eye. Oh, come on. God can change that situation in the twinkle of an eye. But that situation would need a changed man to possess that miracle needs a transformed man to possess so the process to that possession will change you into the very man that you ought to be in order to possess that promotion I thank God for all the troubles I've been through brother I don't know what you're going through in your marriage but God is changing your story in this month you may think that that has lingered you might think that delays have overtaken your entire life I've got a good news for you there's no delay 
there is only appointment. So they get it. There is no delays. There is only appointment. Appointment. Everything that looks like a delay is an appointment in disguise. Everything that looks like a stagnation is actually a progress. A progress a progress unknown to your senses because sometimes we want to capture things within our senses we want to reason everything there is a dimension beyond your senses you a man can be progressing without knowing a man can be improving on a daily basis under pressure through the pressure and above the pressure without knowing Don't think that the trials, the troubles, we are for your destruction. Whatever you've been through, it's not for your destruction. It was for your advancement. It was for your next level. It was for God. I've got a good news for somebody. God says that there's someone here this morning that God says, I will give you a new beginning today. I'm about to reward you for the young, long years of your trials, for the long years of your waiting period. For God says, new thing is about to come. New season is coming, says the Lord. Can I hear amen like a thunder, sons of God? Halia, Halia, Sepayadia, Efrapakayada, Seperadia, Halia, Sapayada, Halia, Sahila, Sapayada, Eko Sapahira, Masapayada, Lahila, Familia, Sepakayada, Yakapaya, Sefria, Sefria, Perica Payada, and to Sapane Kavayada, Sa Emperadia. Evahila, Evina, Sefahila, Ekamaria. We increase in spiritual ranks when we capture certain depths in the realms of your sin. When we elevate into that encounter, something is captured in the realms. Nobody enters the frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality.